Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're actually going to talk about Star Wars. We're, Yay. <laughs> uh, we're going to talk about Damon Lindelof. He said he was asked to leave the Star Wars franchise amid busted project. Now this is the, uh, is this the Ray movie or is this another movie? No, yeah, what it was going to be was he was supposed to be working on uh, episode 10 with the person they announced as a director for the new Ray movie. Yeah. That he was, they were going to be a director on his movie. The activist and, with no right, right. experience. And he yeah. was okay. writing the movie and according to what he told Variety a while back was that he was writing a movie with Ray and she was going to be older in the future and going to have new Jedis that she was training and things, which sounds like what they announced at Celebration under this other director, um, but he's out. And then he said that he would, he, they're gonna be like, well, he never was confirmed. He said he was in Star Wars. He was brought in and then they told him to leave. They yeah. asked him to leave. So this is, this is kind of crazy. There is a, and we'll go through the list, but there is a laundry list of people who were uh, announced usually with a lot of fanfare that they were coming to Star Wars, they're making a Star Wars movie, and then a couple months later they get gone. Yeah, and my mom always said, what's the common denominator? And the common denominator here is Kathleen Kennedy. No other studio head has announced so many projects that have been backpedaled or you know canceled or reworked. She even or... tried to say she didn't, they didn't announce Kevin Feige was getting movies with not only that, but all the all the Hollywood outlets are talking about who was set, someone assigned to write with him and everything else. Bullshit. It was wasn't announced, Kathy. How yeah. how stupid do you think people are, Kathy? Uh, well, they keep giving Lucasfilm money, so yeah, pretty, pretty dumb. stupid. Pretty I guess. dumb. Uh, they, I, no, I asked how dumb I thought people were, not how dumb um, Disney is. There's a definite difference. Uh, this is all, you know, Baby Grogu's been carrying them this whole time. That's that's the Baby Yoda thing. So let's talk about this. Another, I mean, I look, I, and I'm going to be clear because we got all these people that you know watch our videos and are like, hey, just hate Disney Star Wars. I actually am completely numb and indifferent. To Disney Star Wars at this point. Hey, side note about Disney Star Wars. Remember the Galactic Star Cruiser? So Disney is so desperate to get it booked up because it's not. Not even May the 4th is booked, okay? They're now offering Disney Visa card holders 30% off. I have it if you go to piratesandprincesses.net. You can go look it up there. But like all the dates are still, the ones that were available before are pretty much available still, including May the 4th, because nobody gives a shit about the Galactic Star Cruiser. And instead of just turning it to something else or changing it or making the price lower, they're going to keep offering these exclusive deals to people that pay a lot more money, like the DVC and the, the annual pass holders and now the, the Disney Visa card holders. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're really, I mean, God, it, it it's so easy to get this right. I know, That's I mean, what I don't try. understand. You have to make a concerted effort to fuck it up this bad. So let's talk about them fucking it up. Uh, before right. we get to it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. You'll get a, a woohoo from Geeky. Woohoo! Um, yeah, so we've been chronicling for almost five years, about five years now, the Rise and fall of Disney Star Wars. It's been five years, yes. Uh, mostly fall. Basically, they got off to a really good start with promises of the original cast coming back for Star Wars, more Star Wars, and then they, they messed it up in the first movie. Spoiler, Han dies. And uh, spoiler, unfortunately, uh, Carrie Fisher died mm -hmm. in real life uh, not long after The Force Awakens came out. And uh, there was no chance to get them together. Compare and contrast with what... Uh, Paramount did, and they learned from their mistakes, and they got the whole crew back together for one last hurrah on Picard. Yeah, and the, it's getting all kinds of, like, acclaim for it. Oh, yeah. They, literally, they just gave the fans what they wanted, and they could have spun Star Wars off in a different direction, and in fact, characters like Rey, Finn, and Poe would have been received a lot more warmly had they not come at the expense of had they not, and, and what they did to Luke, I mean, was, uh, they, and it was unnecessary. Yeah. All of it was unnecessary. And they could have, and then, you know, they, they even uh, Ray, Finn, and Poe, they didn't feel like Han, Luke, and Leia. They were all like separate doing their own thing. It wasn't until like, the last movie with, where they were both pissed that they even tried to make them an ensemble cast. And, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, this is uh, this is coming from an interview he did with Esquire, Dan Lindelof. Mm -hmm. said, I joined the Star Wars universe and was asked to leave. Uh, rumors circulated that Lindelof's script, co-written with Justin Britt Gibson or whatever, followed an elderly Ray uh, who was training two new Jedi Knights. Yeah, but instead of elderly Ray, they're bringing back the Daisy, Daisy Ridley. Ridley. Right, because it doesn't that doesn't make sense. There's the time jumps on that because all the Star Wars trilogies are 20, 30 years apart. 
You know, the time mm-hmm. jump's not there. Like I would have fully expected older Ray. And again, Shelly Duvall. Now, <laughs> older Ray, you know, played by a different actress. And, and then these new that, characters. You answered not. your question. Because because Kathleen Kennedy's going to make Ray stick come hell or high water, even if people don't want her to stick. They're going to cram her into all kinds of parts. And, you know, whether you want it there or not. Now, this is, uh, is it Obeyed Chinoy? I'm, yeah, I'm, that's the one who was working with him as a director on their the other movie that he got removed from. Uh, yeah, so that's going to tell the story of rebuilding the new Jedi o- Order and the powers that rise to tear it down. So we're going to have another group of that. It's probably like the second, the second order. order. <laughs> you know, um, and or they're not, not going to explain them either. They're going to be like, oh, yeah, we have a whole bunch of like dark Jedi that were just like hiding that we never explained. You know, we're just going to introduce. And we also more stormtroopers and TIE fighters because toys. Anakin know. had another kid. Oh, my God. Even though his weenie was burned off. <laughs> Somehow, no. It was somebody was forced pre- impregnated by the by the emperor again. Somehow, Anakin fucked. Yeah, that's that's what's going to be. It's it Star makes me Wars. When you say it that way, anyway. Uh, Lindelof revealed he's not yet done with his dreams of helming a Star Wars movie. Will I get back in line outside the, the club and try to get back in? Absolutely. Uh, well, now you won't because you went and told people, right? If at first you don't succeed, try and try again, or again, again, try as you would say. He'd say, "Do or do not." There is no try. You That's failed. right. He get wouldn't. Back, he wouldn't say try. Get back to the back of the line, Dan. Oh, good, good catch. Um, no, I think he's waiting for Kathleen Kennedy to get gone because I, I don't think know. he probably. I don't, I don't know how she's still there as it is now. Well, it's funny because there has been a long, 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 long line of people that have been working on Star Wars projects with Kathleen Kennedy there at Disney. That have gotten gone or have had creative differences. And it was funny because, uh, here Deadline had a whole list of them. I wrote them here, but we can go to the, to the, to the Deadline article because it's actually very interesting because they actually bring up why or each one. So The Force Awakens originally it was supposed to be Michael Arndt. Uh, the, the guy who worked on Toy, Toy Story. Story. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, Jay James was brought into direct, but then he was overseeing writing duties and everything else, which led to this whole disconnected trilogy. Right. Rogue One, we had Gary Witta. Who was, who was supposed to be like, he pitched the idea of Rogue Run to Kathleen Kennedy and was going to be an anthology film. And ended up that ended up gone. And then Gareth Edwards was there, fired put deep in the post-production process, even though he retained directing credit. And Tony Gilroy keeps coming up, right? Yeah. Gilroy keeps getting put in all the time. I've noticed a trend. Hmm. So in Solo, we had, you know, Lord and Miller. We are not about that one. Gone. Creative yep. Differences. Rise of Skywalker, Colin Trevorrow. Yeah, and his ver- I'll, I'll be honest, like the the last Jedi broke Star Wars for me, but uh the Rise of Skywalker, again, I haven't seen it. I have no desire to see it because I know the gist of what happens. I have seen clips here and there, but I have not watched the movie. Um it actually tries to walk it back, which looks even dumber than if they had just uh-huh. they pissed into- everybody off. Yeah, I think at that point, Colin Trevorrow's script from what I understand would have just been like, well, these are the cards we were dealt. Let's just make the best of it. Make the best of it and not try to walk it back or whatever and just go forward. And they even built the props. Like they had um a Sith Lord that was like a parasite on some giant goblin baby head that was in the swamp. I forget it was like anti Yoda basically. And they had pictures of it. So they were pretty far along, you know, in this. Mm-hmm. But again, there's only two years between these movies. They had to just like bang this stuff out, you know? Right. But here again, we had somebody else completely and it was gone. And J.J. Abrams came back yep. to do what you know, they're bidding. Kathy's bidding. She is the emperor. Um, then we have Josh Trank was supposed to be on the Bob- Bubba Fett anthology film, which got, you know, scrapped. Yep. And then we got go down. Then we had Mangold, James Mangold, who was supposed to be the bub- on the Bubba Fett film, which again was scrapped. And now, and now he's, he's getting to do a movie now. So yeah. he is getting to do one now. Then we had Obi-Wan Kenobi as an anthology trilogy. And it was supposed to be a, for the, 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 the movie, I guess, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And that was, was it Stephen Daldry was on yeah. that? And then, and this Hossein Amini was on the writing team. They scrapped that. Okay, and then Ryan Johnson. We still don't know what the fuck's up with that. I don't know. I think he's just wa- he's waiting. He's 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 Before just waiting. Kathy, oh, he's still going to get his trilogy. It's like, well, you must really hate making money. <laughs> Go down. Um. So then we have Benioff and White. Oh, I forgot about Benioff and White. Oh my god, I forgot all about them. Yeah, these are the Game of Thrones guys. Like, if anybody could pull off a decent-ish Star Wars trilogy, especially if it was like the Old Republic or something, but they got rid of that because now they have the High Republic. 
Yeah, we can't do the the, High the, not, the High Republic, which nobody's really talking about much except the celebration. They keep trying to promote the books, and most people still don't they're on it. clearance. They have tons of High Republic I books. I think they're always, always. Yeah, yeah, so stacks and stacks of them. Nobody that's why wants they them. said they were bestsellers because they they bought them from the sold them to the Ollies. Ollies. Yeah. Ollies. Um, then we have Andor, and I guess it's Stephen Schiff was supposed to be on uh, this this show, and then apparently Tony Gilroy got to take over. I told you, Tony Gilroy just keeps getting put in there. Um, there's going to be an untitled film from DJ Dillard and Matt Owens. I think that one's no longer, they said it ended. He said November yeah. ended. Then we have the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. And this is the one where they had the one script. And then I think it was with Luke. And then she didn't like it and wanted to go in a different direction. So they yeah. scrapped this, the, their script and he had somebody else come in and made it about Leia. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what happened. And then that's, again, that Hussein Amini was one of the ones working on. I think he wrote the script. Yeah. And then they scrapped the script. Probably for Leia. Fuck that. Patty yeah. Jenkins. They're saying it's still happening. I don't think it is. I don't think it's happening. I think I think uh, Kathleen Kennedy is going to bide her time until she gets gone somehow. And then Disney is going to have to hit the reset button or something. They won't just, get rid of her. And I don't understand why. I mean, I you can single-handedly point the failure of Disney Star Wars back to Kathleen Kennedy. And they and then Taika Waititi. I'm not telling you a bitch, but I don't think Taika Waititi is right for Star Wars. Hell no, not unless you're doing like droids or something. You know, something. Oh, that'd be kind of funny. Yeah, something I funny. See that. Maybe I, yeah, I can maybe see that. that. Like, yeah, but I don't, I don't think he's right for it. I guess that. Yeah, they talked about the Lando show they were gonna do, but they said Donald Glover's schedule. He probably doesn't want to do it. I think he's. I think he's smart. Donald Glover seems like a pretty smart guy. I think he is. Like hell no, this is gonna hurt my career to go back to this. What like Solo was a bomb. It was. I mean, I didn't think it was as bad. I think it was one of the n- not completely terrible Disney Star Wars projects. It was better than I expected it to be. It was better than The Last Jedi. But um, I think he's looking at that like this is a career killer. Which is I, a bummer because Lando with him would have been fun. He, he was a good Lando. I that thought he was a very fun. good Lando. I would have watched but, that. Yeah, he's like this is this is like. But I, I like Donald Glover, so. I do, <laughs> so. Yeah, it could just be like, he's like, yeah, I do this. I'm wading into the Star Wars shit again. He's like, I am not even, I'm not even going to go there. I got so he knows, my, I don't have, the, my waders aren't long enough for this shit. Uh, yeah, then we have the, the Lindelof film, which they're going to bring the Watchmen chick in, all that. Now it's supposedly not going to happen, but they still have Charmaine Obeyed Chinoy, who's going to be doing the Ray, the movie. Ray movie, which is basically sounds like what Lindelof was writing. Yeah, no, it's not, it basically sounds like they were going to do a Ray movie. He wanted to do old, old woman Ray, which makes sense given the time gap between the Star Wars trilogies. And if you can find a different actress to write. No, yeah, and they can, want Daisy Ridley. They want Daisy Ridley. They're about to determined to make everybody love Ray, whether you like it or not. You yeah. have to love yeah. Ray. You must love Ray. Uh, Sean Levy's until film. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, my God. Kevin those, Feige's yeah. film. Michael Waldron. Oh, my God. How long is this damn list? Yeah. It just goes on and on. I mean, this is ridiculous. Meanwhile, what we are getting is the acolyte that has an intimacy coordinator for it. Fuck that. That's why there's an intimacy <laughs> coordinator. I'm like, the whole thing is just stupid. I mean, Force basically. female. And all the new ones. Everybody was joking. It was a running joke. Yeah. Or you, there was a running joke. Well, Harvey Weinstein. Was of course gets she, Well, there was, there was you know, Leslie Headland who used to work for Harvey Weinstein. So maybe the, he was forced the female. And she got oh my that God. confused with the forces female. Um, But, you know, everybody jokes. It doesn't matter what they announce. They're going to cancel half of it or yeah. all of it. And it's just, it's a running joke. Disney, your Star Wars is a running joke. Even the people who still like your projects, they all like don't hold their breath on things going to be done because you keep canceling stuff. Then Kathleen Kennedy got caught lying about the Kevin Feige thing. I'm like, just is, stop. Is she going to lie about Damon Lindelof? Is she going to be like, oh yeah, we never talked to him at all about well, the, Oh, we he never just, signed him. It was we a never rumor. signed. Oh, that was another thing. Yeah, a person they signed. Was that the, the Acolyte? They signed her and then they fired her and then now she's yeah, suing Yeah, Sal, she's suing him. I'm like, what a shit show. I mean, seriously, like beyond, beyond the movies themselves, beyond the shows themselves, which that's the very divisive issue, right? This is a poorly, poorly poorly run company yeah somebody created differences with kathleen kennedy it's ridiculous yeah uh, and no other studio would allow th- this much incompetence i have a lot of men that got booted you notice that well patty jenkins got booted that's too, true so, that's true yeah you know, but, but she's competent probably so <laughs> well i don't know the second one more women film we need more controllable Oof. women we need more controllable women 
in charge of Star Wars with more right. uh, with more unwanted so female basically characters. Basically, wait and see yes. what people really hate. Like, who do people really can't stand? Oh, they really hate activist types. Let's give them more films. Rose Tico, the series, and we're already going to commit to uh, uh, three seasons of that. Right, right. You know, you just know. to stick it to the... We're going to use millions and millions and millions of Disney's dollars to stick it to our online enemies. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. So then, yeah, you know, whatever. I whatever. Just, I think everybody's over it at this point. The the, the Bob Iger's probably over it. I mean, the receipts are, are there. Yeah. You can see that the, the the shows keep declining. Now, Mandalorian, which is the one thing they had, the viewership was is jack shit. It just keeps going down. They can't book a Star Wars hotel, which you know, ten years ago, you couldn't have been able to keep it. You know, the rooms available. Yeah. Especially if it was the original trilogy, and you did it right, and you kept it at a reasonable price. People would have been in there like crazy, and now you can't even keep a, a, a hotel book. Yeah, go down here. You can see I have it pulled up with the calendar. Um, yeah, look, go down. Yeah, see, May, May the 4th, all of May. These dates are crossed out. We're already crossed out. May is open. June's open. July. Oh, my God. These dates were mostly already crossed out. And then if you go down, come October is when they started doing the middle of the week. They're not doing cruises. Mm. Cruises, in quotes. So those dates are blocked out. So nothing is sold out, really. I got a bunch. So Disney must have sent out the mandate or something because I got a whole bunch of emails from different travel agents today. About co- the Star Cruiser? Yes. Question <laughs> the Star Cruiser. And they already put other emails out earlier in the day. Sa- sounds like Disney's a little desperate. The mouse needs some cheddar, especially if they're going to hire a bunch of lawyers to fight the entire state of Florida. Well, uh, you, I have no cheese Mario, for you. And Mario. They got to take on Mario now, too. But so. they did it to themselves. Uh-huh. And oh, I mean, their arrogance is what they're undoing. And Igert has just made bad decision after bad decision after bad decision. So let's bring him back. I mean, I agree Chapek wasn't a good idea either. But bringing Bob Iger back was colossally stupid. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Anyway. Good luck with that. I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, we had George Lucas Star Wars, and that is it. That's it's we all like fan the, fiction. Yeah, the prequels were his. Yeah. yeah. I liked Rogue One. Rogue One was good. Yeah, I oh, think you have to, Rogue One. I think you have to pick and choose your Star Wars. Basically, the vast majority of it is garbage at this point. And, you know, whatever. I They want to blow it up. They want to burn millions of dollars. That's fine. I don't have to support so it. In the new movies, is it going to be is it going to be something that's bigger than a Death Star and a, and a Star Killer? It's going to be a a um a a wormhole. Death hole. galaxy. It's going to be a wormhole eater. It's going to be a black hole. Sucker. Sucker. It's going <laughs> to suck that hole. <laughs> yes, we're going to use the dark side to suck the galaxy through its own black hole. Like, <laughs> like a prolapsed anus. Yeah, an emperor's going to be back again. Yeah, somehow, yeah, somehow Palpatine returned. Um, or he's, he's like living in Ray. He's like a... Uh, you know, oh, he's like a little face on her shoulder. <laughs> you know, it's like you know, Harry Potter or, oh, yeah, um, or yeah, Robin, yeah. Robin from I'm Teen your Titans fake Go. Grandfather, he has Ray. that. He has that extra head or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. <laughs> They're gonna do something really stupid. They're gonna be like, you're oh. now pregnant. You know? Oh, or it's gonna be like, oh, she was possessed by Palpatine because she's a Palpatine, and then she has to, to wrestle. Oh my god, I'm gonna guess the plot. She has to wrestle between being a Skywalker and a Palpatine, but then Palpatine takes over her body and trains Sith lords, and then she's good, and then she's so she's like Sybil. So then she's a, a Skywalker, and she's trained the light side. So she's training and, both sides, and she has to pick a side, pick a lane. And Force goes. Ky- Force goes. Ky- Kylo Ren comes back, and then they have a whole Shirtless. relationship going on. And it's gonna be like that woman that married the 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 pirate the ghost. Pirate ghost. <laughs> have you heard about that? He the pirate ghost just conveniently looks like Johnny Depp. No, he's not like Johnny Depp. His name was he. But she was like his name was like Captain Jack again too. Oh, okay. And then so she used a cardboard stand-in of, of, of Johnny, uh, Johnny Depp. Depp. Yes. yes. And they're divorced America. though because it didn't work out. Because uh, he was a philanderer. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm totally serious. Oh, my God. Anyway. Did they have a messy divorce? Was it televised, the trial? I don't think so. No. They had to go to international water to get married because no one in the right mind would marry her to something that didn't exist. All right. Are we done with this? I'm beyond done. Let's wrap it up. Yep. Bye. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef dot support.